Rick Croslin is holding his breath. I know. And hoping. Every time he comes in here, he just kind of gives me that. He I points know. at me. He's like, uh, got to get it Monday. Marcus, thank you. You're As welcome. Always. Have a good weekend. Thanks, buddy. You too. Uh, picnic basket, I understand. Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, you might as well, right? We're going to celebrate right. and have some fun with the picnic basket. <laughs> All right, Mr. Rick Croslin. Yes, you do. I'm curious to see what's inside. Well, I tell you, the first thing we did, we have a little worksheet or uh, an information sheet so you can take and not miss any activities. Everybody's focusing on totality, which yes. is the two minutes. But you're going to have an hour before and an hour after. So I put together some things that you should have with you to really have some fun during it. And here's a list of uh, different things. For example, let's start with okay. the silver glasses. That's a must. That's the number one. Silver yep. glasses. And if you want to make a, a mask, uh, is a good thing to make. You've got a mask right here that I made. Look at that uh, mask. Or you try can it? actually, yeah, try that on. Or try it. Do some professional that glasses right? that I have from the last eclipse. Mm -hmm. Those are all Super good, but I like the Corona mask. And then, um, uh, you know, we talked about this. This is a. Oh, wow, these are all blacked out. That, that, that's, that's, that's a good like thing. Blade. <laughs> uh, you can easily make this. There's videos uh, attached to how you can make the moon oh, rotating this, around. Richie. That's a cool you thing see? to do. Cool and um, right this right. is, uh, I, I have a green. And a red piece of cloth. There's a thing called the Purkinje effect. Oh, Purkinje. Purkinje. It's a scientist Purkinje. who studied how your eyes adjust to darkness. Mm -hmm. And oh. if you have this or a t shirt, this will turn gray during the eclipse and this will be a vibrant green. Oh, wow. Really? So I, I hear these things and I say, let's test it out, see if it works. So yeah. that's in my basket. Um, I brought these along because. Animals are going to do weird Aww, things, and so I just want you to remember to observe the animals. They're going to do uh, weird things. Yeah, well, well, so look at the animals around. Like they're going to know the environment. Birds think it's nighttime. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. Sex, yeah. Um, the uh, I don't know what a sheep will do or a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> lamb chop. <laughs> um, the um, another thing I want you to do is like I took uh, I went uh, in the kitchen and make sure you get yeah. colander. a colander. I think we have some pictures. If you shine this colander, you will see all hundreds of different uh, silhouettes. Nice. And so I got so cool. this one and this one. I think we have some you pictures have this showing one here. it. Yeah, my friend uh, Todd uh, uh, oh, nice. cut my name, name on that and mm -hmm. my, my grandkids' name. So that's that's one. But uh, so there's. Uh, here, here so is, the light piercing through is yeah. going to cause like a lot of different it's, either shadows gonna, or different dimensions. It's going to be the silhouette okay. of each phase. Wow! So at the beginning, it'll be like Cookie Monster took a little bite, mm -hmm. but then yeah. as the hour goes on, it'll get nice. bigger and bigger. And I, I keep looking for things That's with cool. holes yeah. in it or, or punch your own holes in it. I'll tell you this. Now, a, how deep does this basket yeah, go? Because I basket. know you're going to pull out a broom. Uh, I'll tell you, the, uh, this is a model. We did, a, we did a, a show on this earlier, a model of the earth and the moon. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you're, you got an hour. Uh, teach someone next to you about the, uh, the sun and the moon. And speaking of that, you might want to make a mm -hmm. pinhole projector out of a box. And I have the best box oh, to do yeah. that. A moon pie box. A moon pie oh, box. Cute. And so this is a safe way to poke a hole. The sun comes through, and that mm -hmm. way you're not directly observing the sun. Yeah. You might even want to take a picture of it with your phone. Don't waste a lot of time on that. If you do use your phone, make sure you put some glasses over the lens. Yeah. Don't look at the camera or the sun yeah. with your camera. Sure. It, in fact, wear glasses all the time, except for during totality. Yeah, there will be those daredevils who are yeah. like, I don't care. I'm going to look well, at dark clip. It may be the last thing they see. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> also have an information sheet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, 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 I want to have fun. Tell them, Rick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to bring a magnifying oh, no. lens. Because, oh, that's cool, too. Because this is, <laughs> uh, well, catch paper on fire with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that does show how strong the sun is. That lens you have right there, uh -huh. that's the same lens that's in your Let's eye. See. So just as this will increase the power of the yeah. sun and catch something on fire, mm -hmm. you don't want your retina burn because your retina doesn't have any feelings. So when the uh, sun comes through, this lens can burn a hole in your retina. Oh, gosh. Um, those are some of the different activities that uh, you can kind of follow along. But I'll tell you, this... Uh, That's powerful. You may want to bring a white sheet or a white cloth. There is a really weird phenomena called shadow bands. Mm. And it happens right before totality. So I'm going to spread this out. And I guarantee you people are going to gather around. These weird things happen on the ground. 
They're called shadow bands. Some people call them oh. shadow snakes. Oh, shadow snakes. Shadow snakes. I don't know. But I think we have a picture of the shadow bands. Ooh. So I'm bringing a white sheet also. Okay. And uh, I'm bringing a thermometer to see if the temperature changes. There's a lot of, people can find a lot of this stuff around the house, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, so you yeah, got a thermometer. That, that's a drain. Kitchen supplies. Drain for the Just sink. Another, another one. Drain from the sink. And uh, um, uh, now you may not have an anemometer around the house. Marcus probably does. An anemometer. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know what that is. Um, it, what it does, it tests the wind. And so right oh, before, wow. right before oh. the eclipse, mm -hmm. there's a thing called the uh, the umbra breeze mm -hmm. when the temperature changes. And so, insects. Rick, I have a quick question yeah. for you because we were oh, talking we about it yeah, possibly being a little cloudy. Hopefully it will not be. But I is there it. a way to enjoy it even if there is? a little bit of overcast. Well, that's what all these things are for. Yeah. Uh, you can be a scientist and learn how to make these notes and make drawings and mm -hmm. talk about the person, mm -hmm. but we really want that touchdown pass. We need that yeah. touchdown. Uh, okay. But a field goal. It, it's going to be your experience. Having a compass to know which way it comes. Now, this is a very strange thing to try. I cut a piece of uh, board. Yeah, like foam board. In a 90, it's a foam board okay. in a 90 degree angle. When there's a full sun, you put this down, you get a fuzzy shadow because the sun is big. Yeah, it's huge. But as the sun becomes a sliver, it directs the light. Now, if you hold this during the eclipse, this don't take my word for it. Try this yourself. <laughs> You're going to see a shadow that's parallel to the slip. It's going to be sharp. But this side is going to be fuzzy. So this is my sharp, fuzzy apparatus to I test that. that. So if you see people walking around, their shadows are going to be weird because anything parallel with that mm -hmm. slit is going to be sharp and anything perpendicular is going to be fuzzy. And so anytime I do hear something like that, I'm, you know, you have to ask a lot of questions in science. Yeah, mm -hmm. you and, do. That's the best scientist. And, 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 questions. Yeah, and don't, I don't always trust what I read. I like to try it myself. And so I would like all these kids to try these things. Legend, what see. was your favorite out of everything we saw? I think you like this bug. You like the you bug? Like the bug? You're going to look at the animals? And this is cool, too. We might have to make our own picnic cool. basket. Yeah, make your own ledge. picnic basket. Yeah, the directions fun. for you this are it? online. But don't bring these. Whatever you do. Don't bring any. This is fun. Your no kids can have a lot of fun. The mask is good. Is it all dark? He's like, yeah, it's too dark for me. It's all dark. <laughs> it's supposed to be dark. If you put a pair of glasses on yeah. and you see things, you got the wrong glasses. one. Okay. Yes. And th that's a good cool. question. Uh, and we need to wrap this up. But yeah. are there some out there you need to make sure that these are the real things in yes. terms of the glasses? Uh, they, uh, your glasses have a rating, uh, ISO, mm -hmm. which oh. is an international uh, oh. uh, like uh, a measurement. It's okay. A, that uh, make sure these are qualified and certified. Yeah, and make sure a number you have the on right them. ones. And uh, they're not like 2017. Glasses are abundant. There's no yeah. reason why. In Wayne Township, our Education Foundation provided 45,000 pairs of glasses to all everywhere. our kids and, and all our staff. So and you have no excuse. Rick no Rosslyn, thank you so much. All your oh, I'm so excited. What do you guys think? Picnic basket time? <laughs> a lot of stuff. I have one moon pie left. Okay, oh, good. Because I was really confused because there was a picnic pie. basket. That was amazing. And I caught it with label up. Yeah. There's nothing more. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> there are just things being tossed. There is nothing more fun than watching someone talk about something they're passionate about and watching Rick Croslin talk about the solar eclipse. Yes. Was adorable. Yes. I loved that. <laughs> Coming up next.